And it was just a really poor decision by Jeff, and he's got to work on that. I mean, he just cannot make those mistakes in the red zone and, you know, throw it out of bounds and kick the field goal and go to the locker room tied at three. And, you know, and then the, 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 the turnover by Anthony Grant and, you know, I was looking at the, the timing sheet, Jessica. There's the Oscars have the football near midfield. There's about five minutes left in the game. Anthony Grant actually gets nine yards on the carry that he fumbled. And it was a really good play made by the defense. I shut my little speaker off there. <laughs> um, and it was a nice punch out by the Gopher defense to get the fumble out of there. But that, that certainly ignited some life for Minnesota to, to come after uh, the Huskers in that point on. But inside of five minutes left, Huskers up 10-3. And, hey, we started saying on the broadcast, man, this would be just such a giant win get the rural era underway with a victory, um, and obviously it didn't happen. But long season, long way to go for this football team. And I think, you know, Matt Rural realizes this. it's a marathon, not just a sprint with game one for his tenure. You think about all the and, – and here we are having this deja vu kind of conversation, but you think about the big mistakes – and if just one of them are not made, you might be looking at a different outcome. Right. If you don't throw the ball the way at the end of the first half, if you get points on the board, if you Ethan Piper doesn't get the, the false start, or you know if um, the fumble from Anthony Grant, the, the face mask, the stop, I mean, just we're one play away from winning that football game, and that's what's so tough. But... I was really pleased with how they were after the game. I mean, Coach Rule has said this from the start, that it, it, we're not going to go all in on this one game. It's a long season. It's, it's more than just how you start a football game. It's how you finish. It's more than how you start a season. It's how you finish. And, um, you know, this they'll learn from this. And I think they've already got a good mindset about it. While they were disappointed, they're not going to get hung up on the fact that they let this one go. They're going to move on to the next one. they got a big one coming up on Saturday. Seven t penalties, got to kind of try to trim those down. Some of those are those pre-snap ones that drive coaches nuts. Motion before the penalty, you know, th those things drive you crazy. Yeah, the face mask was big, but that and four turnovers in a close game made the and, – and really, you go, we have four turnovers, you probably – if I told you that 24 hours ago before we kicked it off, I, you'd go, well, eh, we lose by 17. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 no doubt. I mean, you just – that's got to be better. That has got to be better. Got to take better care of the football. There's no doubt about it. I, no ifs, ands, buts about it. I mean, that's that's got to be better. So, hopefully they can move forward. I was also disappointed with their the not not able to get the run game going uh, really really well, and especially in the second half when you need to be able to run the football. Some surprises to me. I think Billy Camp got targeted once, maybe twice. Thought he'd be a Did bigger. Did Fedoni at all? I don't think so. I mean, the Borkatcher had Borkacher one catch. Did, and they should. Uh, Jeff should have found him the other time. I think he was open in the yeah. end zone. So I thought maybe the tight ends would be targeted more. And maybe, hey, maybe Minnesota was taking that away from him. That certainly could happen as well. But I thought Billy Kemp would be a bigger, bigger impact. And he, I think he certainly will as we make our way through the season. So that surprised me a little bit there as well. And I honestly I think I'd rather see a little bit more Gabe Irvin. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I, I kind of was looking to maybe see some more out of Janiah and Bonner too. Yeah, I thought, played a couple snaps. I thought when... It seemed like Minnesota was trying to take away the run game and Jeff's legs and kind of maybe daring him to throw it a little bit. And maybe that's what we're going to see moving forward um, from here on out because you, you can see the weapon that he has with, with his legs. There's no doubt about it. But if, they're gonna, if teams are going to try to go all in on, on trying to take the run out, what are some things that maybe you can do to, to open that up? And obviously I'm not an offensive coordinator and I'm not doubting anything. But, you know, I think there's some weapons there that now – so you, you have this on the film, and maybe if you're, you're diving in, okay, this is what maybe teams will do to us in the future. You can game plan around that a little bit more because they have some weapons that they can work around if teams are going to try to take away the, with the run game. There's right. no doubt about it. Right. All right, folks, uh, reaction show. We can continue Big Red Reaction, which I know went well into the night last night. 402-413-2400. Brett, you can text as well. Brett on our text line in Columbus said, if Nebraska plays run defense like they did last night. They're going to have a chance in every game. I agree. We really need some of the wide receivers to step up. I agree. Sims won't last the season if he has to run the ball as much as he did last night. Jeff ended up with 19 carries. I think that's way more than they probably wanted to expose him in the run game. And I don't know how many of it was a broken down. Some of them were, yeah, him just. Yeah, uh, trying to improvise a little bit. But I thought when... Um, 
I thought Marcus Washington really made a difference yeah, he when he got back. Yeah. I thought in the, the first half it just – they were needing um, – a playmaker out there and so when he got back I thought it helped a, a little bit um I, yeah I, I just I think that they, they still as disappointing as it was I think they felt like there were some positives to take away from and and they'll learn from it they'll watch the film and get better and um yeah but bottom line got to take much better care of the football Billy Kemp I want to correct myself he was targeted twice no catches uh, coach world did say after the game Marcus Washington was suspended for the first half, so that's why he was not out there for the first half of the game. Suspension then was over at halftime, and then he gets targeted four times, made three catches in the contest for the Huskers there. And also, after the game, Coach said he thinks IGC may have suffered a pretty bad injury to the knee. Yeah, I saw I saw him go into the tent, and he came out, and you know, guy, people were patting him on the shoulder. And usually, when that happens, it's not not a good sign um but he had ice on the on the left leg and it just yeah i, I think it did not look good for igc which is just so right. disappointing yeah and it was his birthday so you know absolutely uh, yeah so now you're really going to need those freshmen the lloyds who we saw on that end around malachi got a snap or two uh dos uh, those guys are going to probably have to play no doubt i mean it, hey it's next man up you got to which, and, and we heard Coach say that to start, maybe not relying on them as much, but eventually we will. And the more that they get the, the fill and the hang of it. And, um, I mean, Jalen uh, Lloyd's speed, there's no doubt about that. That's, that's a weapon. So Ooh. hopefully they can find ways to utilize that more. And they're going to have to step up. But, hey, here's an opportunity to get right. to play as a freshman. That's what everybody wants, right, to play exactly as a freshman. Exactly right. Uh, on our text line, obviously the loss hurts, but seeing so much negativity after the loss may hurt worse. I get it. I, I just Husker fans are just starving for something to kind of finally pop their way uh, moving forward. So the, the, uh, what was so like I guess different about last night's game is you know in in last year when you play Minnesota you feel you're up at half, but then you felt the momentum changing in the second half. You felt it slipping away. This game last night, you they Didn't. had like the Nebraska control. had control of it until right. the last two minutes of the game. And that's where you know Damon and I, I we got some criticism on whatever uh, that we started celebrating too early. But the storyline of five minutes ago is Huskers had the ball, seven point lead. The defense is playing great. You're like, we kind of got this. So we're trying to start to set the tone. What a great win this is going to be if we can get this thing to start the Matt Rural era off. Because you're right, there was no sense of a comeback coming, in my eyes anyway, from the Gophers. It, it, I, I understand the outcome is similar, but the feel of that game felt a different. lot different than the close games that the Huskers have lost recently. Like, you know, the Northwestern game would never really felt in control at all last year. Minnesota, they had a lead, came back. Um, they're just... They're, were times that they jump out fast. So that's what we're talking about, jumping out fast and then not, not holding on to on. it. You felt at times in those close games a year ago, it's slipping away. Whereas you did, they, they had a firm grasp on that game up until the last two minutes. Yeah. I mean, they scored the tying touchdown on fourth and 10, too, by the way, with two, two little over two minutes to go in the game. Tim and Carney, who calls the plays? That is Marcus Satterfield. Why did you go away from the run? That's legitimate, and Damon even kind of brought that up a couple times in the broadcast. There were a couple series. There was one with about 12 minutes to go in the game. Huskers up 10-3, to 3, and it was three straight incompletions. Didn't run any clock. At that point in time, the clock is your friend. Get rid of it. Uh, so I do. That, that's a legitimate criticism there. We scored on, on a trick play, come back with a reverse or a double reverse, maybe the next time out. So, yeah, I mean, I, hey, people have been wanting trick plays. They got it, and Oscar scored. That was kind of fun to see that happen. It wasn't necessarily pretty looking, but it was wide open. And I talked to Alex Bullock. You were going to hear from him here in a little bit. And he said that thing has been wide open every time they've ran it in practice. It just so that's the, with the legs I mean, of. Talk about wide open. I know. He, like, the fact that Jeff had it on the ground, <laughs> was still able to pick it up, and Alex was still standing there yeah. wide open with yeah. nobody even close to him. That's that, yeah. So, I, I mean, I think you saw some really creative yeah. play calling. And, I, I, again, going back to there are some weapons that could be utilized. And they had to put it, hey, get out on the game, see how it all unfolds. And, and I really, I have faith in this coaching staff that they will go back to the film. They'll, they'll get back to the drawing board. And, and they saw some things they could build off of and get better from. And, um, you know, it's first game out. And you can 
plan and know and think you know all you all you want throughout a fall camp, but until you play a game, you just right. don't know. And so I think they probably learned a, a great deal last night, and they'll make adjustments. And I just have to have faith that they'll. I believe in this coaching staff, and I, I think they'll get it figured out. Some of the things figured out by next week. Sam in Omaha, how was the Minnesota crowd? Did they have an impact? It looked full on TV. I think it bothered Nebraska early with a couple of procedure penalties. And they were pretty, the student section down in the closed end was pretty loud. Yeah, they were booing me when I, at Why? pregame. I don't know. They first waved, and then, then they saw I had an in on, they started booing me. But um, that was the first time I think I've ever been booed. I was like, wow, you guys are rude. But, you know, <laughs> behind the Nebraska bench, though, there's quite a few. Nebraska fans. Were there? I didn't think it was too loud down there in, in now maybe in the end zone and that end, but behind the bench it wasn't it wasn't too loud because there were kind of like Iowa a little bit. There's a lot of Nebraska fans behind right, the bench. Right behind the bench. Jim and Columbus, first I think tonight we all can say this defense of Nebraska keeps getting better every week. By the end of the year they could be a top fifteen defense. Uh, the offense, not as much. I didn't see any cohesiveness whatsoever. It seems like they are different playbooks to study. Don't know who to blame on this. I think it's been pretty obvious, listening to the coaches, the last three weeks, the defense has clearly been ahead of the offense. Yes, we've heard that since the beginning of camp. And I, I, I agree. I mean, I, I don't even I, – I think, yes, that's typical in a fall camp for the defense to be ahead of the offense. But to me, and I agree from what I've seen, I think – and this isn't a shot at the offense. I just think that defense has some really good pieces that they are better. You know, they are – Potentially, probably better yeah. than it's going to be the stronger side of the of the football. It, yeah, it, like it kind of was two years ago, where the defense was really good. The black shirts were very, very good two years. Yeah, ago. Yeah, I mean, and it's it's not a knock. It's just you've got when you've got the the kind of caliber of players that you have. I mean, Malcolm Hartsog and Quentin Newsom looked yeah. really good. Yeah, they did. And and you saw Omar Brown step up. Deshaun Singleton had a couple. I mean, I just I think you saw flashes from almost every single player on that team. And then you throw in the fact that you have so many players that have played so much football and so much experience out there. I just think with the talent and some of the pieces they have coming back, I just think it has, I agree, it has the potential to be a really good defense, and they have been far ahead, and I, I think maybe we can even say that. And I, I even think that that's probably what Coach Roll wants. I think he wants to hang his head on, on right. being a really good defensive team. We're going to hear from Omar Brown here in just a couple of minutes. We'll hear from Alex Bullock coming up in the top of hour two. Also in the second hour, we have our first Choices Treatment Center, Big Ten Picks of the Week. So we'll have that. Henry gets to pick for the, for the young uns. So Henry is our picker for the nice. uh, young guys tonight. No pressure, Henry. No Henry, pressure. Henry, you ready? Yeah, good. He'll, he'll, he'll <laughs> nail it. Dennis on our text line, football season has started now. Transfer portal is done, right? Or if needed, can they go get a wide receiver? No, you can't. You can't. This isn't the NFL yet anyway. You can't go at a guy midstream. So, no, you can't go put somebody on the roster. You could, somebody could come here, but they would not be eligible to play. Right now. So, no, nope. So, yep, you got what you got right now for, for the upcoming season. Keep those texts coming. Phone lines also open 402 413 2400. Woodhouse Auto Family, your trusted auto partner with 20 brands and 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. A lot more of the show, including Jessica's post game conversation last night with Omar Brown, who had a huge interception to keep points off the board for the Gophers. We'll get to that conversation and more of your calls and texts next. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. There's no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like your home like Sap Brothers. For over 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and have been a reliable partner to local farms, businesses, and Husker fans across Nebraska providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your equipment, and welcoming guests into our travel centers. Visit www.sapbrothers.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Nebraska Athletics. Our planet, it's hungry. Blessed with millions of acres in this great nation, our farmers work tirelessly to feed the planet through seasons of uncertainty and seasons of growth. 
It's a tough business to do alone. As owners of Central Valley Ag, it's together that we move forward. There's room at the table. Find your seat at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness, and now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska, and with your help, we can maximize our student-athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890nebraska.com, where 100% of your donation goes directly to Husker student-athletes. That's 1890nebraska.com. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska soybean farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Your neighborhood is more than blocks of buildings. It's the people who live there that make it special. At Union Bank & Trust, we're not just creating home loans. We're making neighbors. We're not just small business lenders. We're small business shoppers. We don't just live in your community. We help you build it because our people are your people. Visit ubt.com slash neighbor to learn more. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Take your adventures to new heights when you purchase your next vehicle at Woodhouse Lincoln. Explore our current lineup to find a luxury SUV that exceeds your expectations. Receive 1.9% APR for 36 months on all 2023 Lincoln models. The Lincoln Aviator, Lincoln Corsair, Lincoln Nautilus, and Lincoln Navigator provide a sense of elevated peace to every moment of your drive. Experience the power of sanctuary in-store or online at woodhouselincoln.com. With approved credit, expire 7323. See dealer for details. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day-by-day -day donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers athletic fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a very big mistake. Hey, Joe, you think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have your underground utilities marked before you start digging? John, that's just for big projects. <laughs> Actually, it's for any digging project. <laughs> Congratulations, Joe. You found your electric line. Remember, safe digging always begins with a free call to 811. You want to borrow my phone, buddy? Brought to you by Nebraska 811. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. There's a new kind of season ticket when you fly from the Lincoln Airport, the official airport of the Huskers. Now at LNK, choose from fast, affordable, non-stop flights to your favorite vacation spots. All from an airport that's relaxed and hassle-free. It's never been easier to get off the bench and enjoy an adventure with the whole family. Visit GoFlyLNK.com and book your trip today. Let's go. 
We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie back with you Friday night post-game after the Minnesota battle last night. The walk-off win by the Gophers of 13-10. to 10. Let's go to Minnesota. And Tim joins us next on the program. Good evening, Tim. Hey, um, um, when I actually was in the concourse when the touchdown happened, but I, but I was able to see it. And for all the things that didn't go well with Jeff Sims, I will definitely give him credit for the composure he showed in that he did not catch the uh, but hey Tim, we're gonna put you on hold. Your your phone's really dropping out on us. He did. There's so it would have been so easy for him to kick that ball out of bounds when he didn't catch it clean. It wasn't a great throw back to him. And I I just had visions of him trying to just shovel the ball out of bounds at that point in time. Which one? On the double pass for the touchdown. Oh yeah. I mean, I thought that thing, oh, get that thing out of bounds, don't lose that ball. Because it was a lateral, so Minnesota could have scooped that up and it'd been a fumble for them. Probably because he knew how open Alex yeah. was or has seen how open in practice and boy he was. He I, the fact that he could he was just standing there. Yeah. Wait, come on. Give <laughs> like, me the ball. So yeah, I mean it was great. The, those two, I just I just knew things were going in the right direction after the Kickoff return by Ramirez really lit a fire on the sideline and built some confidence for sure. Yep. Bill in Portland says, sad loss. One thing, Jeff Sims is a good runner. He, he is. And that's going to be what Marcus Satterfield's going to have to decide. Maybe some of our best offense could be him running the ball, but you obviously open him up for getting hurt if you run him an awful lot uh, in games. But he is a really good runner of the football. Well, and at some point, teams are going to take that away, which I think that's what Minnesota started to do in the second half was really try to, um, I guess, avoid him running the football and avoid the Huskers trying to get anything going on the ground game and, and daring them to throw it. Well, after the game, you had a chance to talk to Omar Brown, top tackler, seven tackles, had the huge interception, a terrific read on Kaliak Manis to step in front of there. They were driving. They were going to go get some more points, and he had a huge pick. I know you enjoyed your conversation. Uh, he's a great, great guy, um, one of my favorites for sure, and so got a chance to chat with him. He's, he's playing really confident right now. I think this is um, – we, we've heard about some of the flashes. He had a great career before he got here at uh, Northern – Iowa, right? Northern Iowa. So, yep. uh, you know, I think he's starting to fill his rhythm here. And, and yeah, uh, here's my conversation with him. I'm Jessica Cootie outside the Huskers locker room with Omar Brown. Seven tackles and his first career interception. And I know you would have traded it all for a different outcome, but your first career interception in Minnesota, uh, how special was that moment in a time when this team really needed it too? Uh, I mean, I'll say during a moment it felt good. Uh, but... Just knowing the stakes of the game, like everybody was just kept telling me, like, like we 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 kind of teach that, like, to like be happy for a good a little minute, but then stay focused on the game. So I mean, it was definitely fun to have it during the moment, but I think you know, just coming out of win would have made it better. But it's cool. We're gonna come back next week. Uh, how much confidence were you playing with out there tonight? Man, uh, once I got the feel of the game, like it felt like I I couldn't be stopped. To be honest, like I had the most confidence in myself and my team. How about just his defense overall, especially in the secondary? You guys seem just so locked in from the start of this game. Man, yeah, I think, like, that's what – I think that's, like, the main part of our defense. We all talk to each other. We all call down in distance. We all tell each other what the play is. Like, I think that's huge on our defense, and we all run to the ball. Like, I mean, this stuff we're supposed to be doing, but just letting it come to the game, let it translate to the game is just big. So, yeah. You got one. How much does it – you don't want to get one or two or three or four or five more. <laughs> Man, yeah, I mean, it definitely like it made me want to get more. So I mean, if I keep working my technique, doing what I'm doing, telling what the coach do, there's going to be more coming. So to play football and let it come. 55 rushing yards. How about the job that the guys did up front for you guys? Man, it was huge. We uh we definitely preached that. They they told us like cover it and we we got y'all. We gonna get the quarterback. So it's like kind of works all together. You know, they be telling us when we on the bench like this guard we got you. We gonna get the quarterback. So I mean. I think that's huge, just working with the D-line, linebackers, secondary, everything. So, It's so one game in a very long season. How much can you build off of this one today? Huge, huge. We're going to come back tomorrow, see, see what we did wrong, see what we could fix, and we're going to come back and practice and work on them and get ready for Colorado. Omar, appreciate your time. Thank you. 
the four players I talked to, I just I was really impressed with their approach to answering the questions about you know again moving forward and not getting too hung up. Were they disappointed? Yeah, sure, they were disappointed. They would they really wanted to win that football game, but they're not going to let that deter or hinder what they want to do for the rest of the season, which is what we've heard from the head coach that it's it's one game at the beginning of the season. They got to get better for it and and learn from it, but defensively and for a guy like Omar Brown a great deal to build off of and a, a lot of positives to take away sure was and I think that is something that Tony White can get in there and really get after uh, during the week all right 402-413-2400 the number if you want to be a part of the program with a call or a uh, text would love to hear from you here tonight our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline Woodhouse is your trusted auto partner 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. Back with more coming up. To win the game, you got to have more strength. You got to be tougher. You got to be reliable. You got to want it more than the other guy. And you need a great team you can count on, backing you up the whole time. Whether it's in the field with your Massey Ferguson or on the field with the Huskers, red is the color of getting it done quicker, smarter, and efficiently. So this season, make sure you're checking out the lineup that'll get more done where and when it counts. From your Nebraska Massey Ferguson dealers. There's no community like a Cenex community. And that's why every Cenex store is so proud to serve theirs by supporting local athletic teams, promoting the arts, and making sure each store is a place its neighbors can find what they need, catch up with their friends, and stay connected. It's also why we give back, helping to make the wonderful places we call home the best they can be. Your local Cenex doesn't just work in your town, it lives there. The store next door, powered locally at Cenex. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness, and now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska, and with your help, we can maximize our student-athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890Nebraska.com, where 100% of your donation goes directly to Husker student-athletes. That's 1890Nebraska.com. Our planet, it's hungry. Blessed with millions of acres in this great nation, our farmers work tirelessly to feed the planet through seasons of uncertainty and seasons of growth. It's a tough business to do alone. As owners of Central Valley Ag, it's together that we move forward. There's room at the table. Find your seat at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Visit Woodhouse Mazda during the Season of Discovery sales event and explore the entire lineup of award-winning Mazda sedans and CUVs, like the Swift and Sporty Mazda CX-30. Get a $500 rebate on a Carbon Edition Mazda CX-30 or take advantage of 2.9% APR for 36 months or 4.9% for 60 months. This is Woodhouse Mazda. When financed with Mazda Financial, with approved credit, tax title license extra, $299 doc fee due at signing. Offer expires 731-2023. See dealer for details. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Beardmore Subaru celebrates Nebraska volleyball again this season. Five national championships, 47 All-Americans, and a home sellout streak dating back to 2001. The longest streak for any women's sport in NCAA history. Beardmore Subaru has been a proud supporter of Husker volleyball for more than 10 years. Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue has the new Subaru Outback Wilderness. Loaded with off-road ready upgrades and the new Solterra, Subaru's first ever all-electric and all-wheel drive vehicle. Go Big Red. Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails. Dress up for a night out on the town. 
or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the trail taming forerunner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. What's colder than the coldest? A polar bear. I report some polar bear on the loose. Ma'am, is it cold enough for a polar bear in here? Yes, we use SOS. Come on in. SOS to the rescue! Nebraska Defense Lineman Nash Hubbard here. People know me as the polar bear, and when I want to stay cool, I call SOS. The techs don't make commissions, so they give you an honest opinion, fair pricing, and longer warranties than the competition, guaranteed. Mention the polar bear and get a free 10-year labor warranty on New York equipment. The best warranty you've got. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions. For every field, Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. It is a Friday night. We've got Big Ten football going on. Michigan State's playing the Chippewas of Central Michigan. No score. I think they just ended the first quarter uh, of that game. We'll keep you posted throughout the program tonight. Full slate of games tomorrow. We'll be doing our Big Ten picks coming up at hour number two. Well, the most disappointing thing of the week for me was that we were not here. I know. Wednesday night. It looked unbelievable on TV. It was, oh my gosh. I just, I went back and, you know, we watched it on TV, but then I went back and watched the videos and read so many people's tweets and read about people's daughters taking their daughters. And I, I mean, I'm going to get emotional talking about it. Like, it just was like so big for women's sports. And it was just, it was. So much work that was put into it, and I'm just so proud. I'm so happy that this this state did this for that group group of women and for this volleyball team and the four teams that played in that it was just unbelievable that they provided that kind of atmosphere. The whole it, they were trending number one on Twitter. My my, I got to watch with my cousin who played college softball, and she just thought it was the coolest thing. And my dad and brother actually drove up. They got to be there, and they said it was just unreal. And they just. Um, you know, went on and on and on about how, how much fun they had. And I just, I'm so proud. I'm so, so grateful that this is the kind of support that is given to women's sports here. And it's not just for volleyball. And people, I, I had so many text messages, I'm telling you, from like uh, my family in California were watching. I had pe so many people from OU asking me about it. And I, I just was like, yeah, the, the volleyball team and the volleyball program is supported like that. But it's, it goes beyond it's, that. It's women's sports. It's women's yes. sports here. Yeah. And so it's not, I think that people think, oh, well, it's just got to be that one program because they're that good. I was like, no, it's, that's, that's how it is. And so I just, I think it was really neat. I know a lot of the other programs had recruits in, which how, how big is that? If you're a recruit coming in and you see that, like, I, it would be hard for me to say no to that. Right going into that and so and i even like the men's sports coaches were were there and talking about how great the atmosphere was i just i thought it brought everybody together you saw a lot of the ath athletes there from all the different sports and um it just it you could tell how much it meant to this this athletics department and man kudos to the marketing team husker vision events 
the center, uh, the team over at Devaney. I just don't know if people understand how much work went into this. And they had to have two plans. They, they put so much time and effort into building two plans, a backup plan. But there was, and it was done to a T. Melanie of Husker Vision, she is, is uh, pretty young. She's just full-time recently. And she ran the board for, volume, for the whole thing and just crushed it. The, everything was perfectly timed. The drones, the drones were that unbelievable. So cool. yeah. I just, I can't, I can't, and I wasn't even here, but I could see and, and I've heard just how great the show was from start to finish, which we said it was going to be a show. It was more than just a volleyball match. It was going to be a show from start to finish. And then I, I listened to a couple of the interviews from some of the athletes from the opposing teams that talked about how much it meant to them and how special it was to them and, and taking it all in and some players that grew up in Nebraska that went to football games and watched a tunnel walk and, and how neat that was for them. You know, you think about it, there's a lot of little girls that are Nebraska football fans and they probably dream about, well, I'll probably never get to do a tunnel walk and or go go run out onto that field and look what look at all the all those young women that got to do that. I just I mean I could literally ramble and go on and on and on, but it just was so special and I'm just so proud and thankful and I'm very sad I missed it. Coach Rayola walked up to me on the sideline before the team ran out. I was like, how was last night? I was like, I didn't get to go, yeah, you know. You guys. Uh, so it, he goes, it looked awesome. So I think even the football staff in Minnesota were paying close attention to what was going on here. It just looks spectacular because we were in a little sports pub which was filled with Husker fans, by the it way. It was so cool. We <laughs> yeah. were, like, clapping. Yeah, and they were doing the, the thing at the end of the sets and all that stuff. They even played the fight song. Yeah, but the, it just looked amazing on television. And thank goodness the weather worked out. It just was a perfect night. I heard the concert was really good. The attention that it got nationwide, Magic Johnson tweeting about it. Danny Cannell. Caitlin Clark, Caitlin even. Caitlin Clark, yeah. Uh, Danny Cannell had a really emotional tribute that he put out. He has three daughters, and... He has no connection to Nebraska. I mean, yeah. what, 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 what he'd do that. But how about how emotional John Cook got yeah. several times? Yeah. I mean, cool. I th I, it's just so – I can't even put it into words because I think – you talk about Dream Big and, and how he said, I believe it was it Becca Alec or was it Kennedy Orr? It was Kennedy Orr. Kennedy Orr that mm -hmm. said, tonight we're making the impossible possible. And I, I, I talked to Lindsay Peterson, and, and she played here, and she's like – you know, we're celebrating the 100-year anniversary of the stadium. And when this thing was built, there's no way anyone could have ever fathomed that this was going to be how we're kicking off the 100-year celebration. And then it's going to be the biggest crowd to ever be yeah. to watch a sporting event inside that stadium. But she was like, 10 years ago, it wasn't possible. But, you know, and this, I know that the Big Ten stream the big 10 network their numbers were were really good but just how many impressions there are millions and millions of people across the country were able to witness that and then Stephen a got on and did you know talked about it on on his show yep. on first take and there were just so many people that um paid close attention to it and they were talking about it and took note of it and that's what it takes like the more that you see and holly Rowe did this she she put it out and at the women's college world series because they just expanded the stadium and it was packed and it was they did an aerial view and she said if you build it they will come she did the same thing uh, on wednesday night she the aerial view that showed the packed stadium she said if you build it they will come and look look i mean it's just if you put in the resources and the effort and you have a good product people want to support it and I mean Nebraska does it the right way and they set the bar and for players and coaches say it time and time again like this is how it should be and I hope everyone in the country took note of this is how you support your women's sports and you they're fun to watch I mean my dad and brother my dad loves to watch volleyball but my brother's still kind of getting used to and he just was flabbergasted of what he was just so awestruck by the the athleticism and just how much fun it was to watch and and until you really tune in and watch you just are unaware of how great of a product it is and so just yeah it uh, was really really special and I cannot wait to I'm sure it was you have the big build up and then it happens in the moment but then I think you probably you know we'll sit down with um, coach Reyes Jalen Reyes on Monday for the dig but just to, after a few days to process it and take it all in, I can't wait to hear what the reaction is. Sue, on our text line, one word describes volleyball day, joy. Yeah. Kudos to the crews that laid the field, did the sound, everyone who did the teardown. 
they often don't get thanked for their credit for their hard work. And you're right, there was hundreds of people that had to set that thing up, put cover the turf, get the stage ready for Scotty McCreary, who I heard was really good in his act afterwards. Final thing on this for you. What kind of score do you give Lexi Rodriguez for the worm? Uh, I, well, I... Oh Did you see her do the worm? Yeah, but was it not very... Oh, I thought it was fine. Uh, well, I'm not, I'm not good at it, so I'm I not, don't know. Yeah, I'm not a worm expert, but you know, the, <laughs> the uh, women's basketball team does it celebrating every... Do they? And so Kendall Moriarty does it, and I saw that they noticed, uh, or one of the fans said, tweeted at him, hey, Lexi, you and Kendall should have a worm battle. Yeah, a worm battle. That'd be <laughs> so, great. But uh, to see how... Um, I mean, joy is the perfect word. To see how joyful those players were after after it was all done and they were just taking in the, the laser show and the fireworks and then even they even got to come back out for Scotty McCreary. I, they, the, what that did for them, I just, it's a moment they'll never forget. They'll tell their, their oh. kids, their grandkids about. I mean, They're part of history. It's just uh, for them to get to be a part of that, I know, I, I know that they were so appreciative and it was not for a second taken for granted, not even... I mean, they just, they understood how big that moment was, and they were so joyful and appreciative that they got to be a part of it. I thought somebody, uh, I think it, one of the players just said, said thanks to all the staff to make this possible, because I think they realized this was quite an undertaking yeah. to make this possible. And, um, yeah, I just, my cousin was in Minnesota. She was asking me, how did this even come about? I was like, well, we have a pretty competitive 80 that yeah. wanted to get a record back, but I don't think anybody thought this would be the kind of record when they initially had the thoughts. I didn't think they'd sell it out. I didn't. I thought 40, 50,000 maybe. And I thought that was aggressive. We were going to go for a record, but we didn't realize it was going to be a world record. And right. I, my, even my dad and brother, I was like, how does it feel you're a part of a world record? Right. I mean, really just cool. really cool. Really cool. Hey, contact 811 two days before you dig to protect your underground utilities and yourself. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. We'll get our final break in. Wrap up hour one next. Okay, man, huddle up. Look, we're playing one of the best football teams in the country today, and quite frankly, we don't have a chance against these guys. Let's face it, we're going to get slaughtered out there. But the good news is that the Nebraska Lottery has scratch and lotto prizes that any one of us could win. Yeah! After the game, we're taking the team bus to the nearest Nebraska Lottery retailer to see if we can win big. Let's go! So let's get out there and lose with pride. The Nebraska Lottery. Top prize odds vary by game. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders, Rob Seco knows that what's important to you hits closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. Our planet, it's hungry. Blessed with millions of acres in this great nation, our farmers work tirelessly to feed the planet through seasons of uncertainty and seasons of growth. It's a tough business to do alone. As owners of Central Valley Ag, it's together that we move forward. There's room at the table. Find your seat at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. As a fan, you wear your jersey on your back and your heart on your sleeve. There's a place for people like you. The Cox Fan Zone. Play NFL Pick'em and Collegiate Pick'em for a chance to win a $100 Visa gift card each week or even a $500 Visa gift card grand prize. Hey, Oscar fans, this is Greg Sharp. Say Fan Zone in your Contour Voice remote to play. Not at home? Visit cox.com slash fan zone. Go Big Red. Hi, Husker Nation. This is Jim Baldonado with the Home Agency. It's been a stormy summer, but that's why we do what we do. Whether auto, home, crop, farm, or commercial coverage, our agents shine when it comes to providing you with the best coverage and customer service after the sale. Our passion is keeping you protected so you can do more of what you love, like cheering on the Huskers. Give us a call today. Call home, the home agency, that is, at 1-800-245-4241. That's 1-800-245-4241.
Folks, buckle up. But the phone had a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Just a couple minutes left here in hour one of Sports on Eight. Post the Minnesota match from last night. Huskers now get an extra day or two of rest. That's kind of nice. So not to play till next Saturday. Buffalo's play tomorrow morning against TCU. So if you want to do a little self scout, you can watch that game tomorrow. But I think have another day or so to. To recuperate is probably good. I did talk to Joel Klatt, who's calling. He yeah. called the game uh, before I, I went and chatted with him, and then he's calling the game next week. He, I think he's a little bit because he likes Nebraska and he really respects this program. And I think it's been pretty evident on on what he said. But he's also a Colorado grad, uh -huh. so he's like, it's kind of I don't because I don't think he's been. Since he has been the number one analyst for Fox, has he has Colorado even been in a primetime game? I mean, not recently. He probably hasn't. Like, he's not been in Kirk Herbstreet's shoes. We're having to call Ohio State. Right. When they've been. I mean, Colorado's been part of the Fox family, but I just don't think they've been good enough for Joel's probably to done be that. in like the prime yeah. time in the big noon game, right? Yeah, he's going to get him twice. And so, but then, and then he's got this he, where he's got to call his alma mater, and then also uh, he's like, it's just a. Weird. But he's a big fan of Matt Roll. I mean, he he did mention that to me too. He's really excited for him and thinks that um, that it, it was a really good hire and that he believes in in the direction that Matt Roll can take this program. But he's like, it just was kind of interesting talking to him about approaching this game next week about how to. I, I just, I, it's got to be weird calling your alma mater like right. that on and, that stage. And at home for the yeah. two next week. And, and knowing that, okay, so if he anyway leans towards Colorado, if he, he was like, well, what if Nebraska fans are, which, I mean, he's not thinking that much about it, but, you know, your approach to it is, well, they're going to call me a homer. And then if I don't, if I'm more towards Nebraska, then my, the yeah. Colorado people are going to say, oh, you're, you're turning on your people. Herb Street deals with that. <laughs> all yeah, the I know. Time. I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't want to do it. Uh, text came in. CNN has a weekly quiz about world news. Volleyball day was one of today's questions. That's cool. That's the thing. I think it's going to keep going on and on and on about volleyball day. It's going to keep getting a lot of attention moving forward. But really cool to see Magic Johnson tweet out about that. I mean, Magic Johnson's so cool. a busy guy. For him to tweet that out, pretty great, cool stuff. Yeah, really cool. Next hour, we'll have Alex Bullock, and we'll also have our Big Ten Picks of the Week. Henry's going to do it for the kids. Let's go. We'll have that next. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid mineral with protein or Sweet Pro block supplements for space feeding while also stretching your forages up to 25% better, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blauhorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. <laughs> From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm sports media student Connor Clark with Campus News. Engineering professor Ronald Fowler has been named a fellow of the National Academy of Inventors, the highest professional honor among academic inventors. As director of UNL's Midwest Roadside Safety Facility, Fowler has played a key role in developing innovative roadside safety technologies that are used around the world. Fowler has earned eight U.S. patents and three foreign patents over his 35-year career. Hey, Husker fans, Kinetic now offers fast 99% reliable internet for just $39.99 a month for 12 months. Whether you're at home, school, or work, Kinetic Internet delivers the speed you need to stream, game, and stay connected with fellow Nebraska fans around the world. Only $39.99 a month for 12 months. And just like our teams in Scarlet and Cream, no one else even comes close. Check availability at windstream.com. Kinetic Internet, proud sponsor of Husker Athletics. Terms and conditions apply.
Good evening. I'm Henry Goodwin, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Last night, Nebraska football kicked off its 2023 season with a game against Minnesota in Minneapolis. The Gophers came out on top, winning 13 to 10 with a walk-off field goal. Also last night, the Husker soccer team beat Mizzou 5 to 0. Eleanor Dale had two goals, and the Huskers have scored a combined 18 goals in their first five games, the most since 2011, where they also started with 18 goals. Next up for, for the soccer and volleyball team is a match against K-State in Manhattan this Sunday. Lately, many schools have been leaving their conference. Today, Cal, Stanford, and SMU announced that they would be making a move to the ACC. Cal and Stanford marked the last two teams to leave the Pac-12. Moving to college football, today, Eastern Michigan is beating Howard 30-6. In the second quarter, Central Michigan and Michigan State are scoreless in the second quarter. Miami is up 10-0 against Miami, Ohio in the first quarter, and Louisville is leading Georgia Tech 3-0 in the first quarter. Later tonight, Missouri State plays at Kansas, and Hawaii is hosting Stanford. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student-athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Coming up next is Hour 2 of Sports Nightly, right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Two to the near side, one to the far side. Turn, give it off to Grant. He picks his way inside the 45, bounces to the outside. 40, 35, 30, foot race now. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Nebraska. Snap back to Van Trees. Play actions. Gets hit as he throws. Pass headed down the end zone. Buford goes up and makes the interception at the one yard line. Marquise Buford's second pick of the game, and it was created by some pressure on the quarterback, Van Trees. Red, fed left. Lindsay gets a throw. They stay with it. And Krause muscles it through a double Buckeye block. Becca Williams, Spring Lake, Texas, serves back right. Nice pass, quick attack. Becca, Alec, Big Red, kaboom! Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cooty on the Huskers Radio Network. We're back, final hour of the night, final hour of the week of Sports Highly. Hope you're going to have a great Labor Day. You know, it's Labor Day weekend. I, it's... How about that? <laughs> you know what, though? It finally feels like it's actually football season. It does. It does. It, well, I thought Saturday. I thought yesterday was Saturday all day. But then now I'm, like, so excited because now we get to watch football all day tomorrow. But Labor Day weekend, I guess, it finally feels like it's real that football's here. But I just – it took me to just being on the field for a game day to for it to feel like it's really, yeah. really real and really here. So we're all glad that it is. So big weekend because college football, there's games tonight, there's games tomorrow, there's game – huge game Sunday, which we're going to be picking, LSU – Florida State, and there's even a Monday night football game uh, on the college side. So a lot of a lot of college football coming your way. We're going to do our Big Ten picks here in a couple of minutes. Uh, the two-time defending champion Jessica Cootie <laughs> trying to defend her throne. Jeremiah Searles has re-entered. Did the he ring. send you his picks? He did. He did. So I don't know that we'll be too different this week. There's a lot of big spreads this week in some of the games. So. Yeah. Well, because I mean the Big Ten. Uh, is not very many Big Ten teams play Big Ten teams right. to start, so they're playing yeah. easy openers. But there yeah. might be a couple that might be Real interesting. Pick his beloved Indiana Hoosiers. We will find out. I doubt. Hopefully, he learned his lesson. Let's go to the phones. Ed and Lincoln is up next. Good evening, Ed. Welcome. Yeah, thanks for taking my call. Um, I uh, have a little disagreement with Jessica as far as the uh, announcing last night by Joel Klatt. Um, I was talking to a bunch of friends of mine today. We're all season ticket holders, long time. And we had the opposite take that Jessica had on the broadcast last night that was very one-sided in Minnesota's favor. And uh, Well, obviously, sure, Ed, we, uh, we, uh, we did, I didn't we hear the broadcast hear. We're, last we're night because I was, I was on yeah the radio broadcast. So I didn't hear him last night. I was just saying leading up to that well, point. She was talking about talking to Joel Klatt, and I just thought I would let you know. I understand you didn't watch the broadcast. However, I'm just telling you what what a lot of the conversation around give town me the, is. Give me an example. Answer. 
Well, just things that he said throughout the game. I mean, it was if you listen, if you got to listen to the game at all, it was very apparent, very apparent. Okay. Well, and, I'll, uh, I'll take your word for it. But I mean, I, that would surprise me. I think Joel does a really good job and tries to play it down the middle. So, but I'll take your word well, for it because I didn't hear it. And maybe last, anyway, maybe if you felt that way last night, but I think he's been pretty. He he's a big fan of Matt Rule, and he's been pretty. Pretty vocal and pretty supportive of, of Nebraska up until this point. So, I mean, again, I didn't yeah. hear last night, so I can't speak to that. But, um, you know, I, I even talked really to him, and he it. talked about how much respect Here's he has thing, for the Ed. program. Turn it off and turn us on. Yeah. You know what? I did have you on a lot last night. Good. And I also listened to him a lot last night. So it's, you know, it's, I just want to let you know that. Okay. But, you know, it just I, I've seemed seen, very... I've, I've seen nothing on the message boards about Joel being bad last night. And usually when the announcers yeah. aren't, well, the message boards are full of bad that's, takes. That, that's good. So obviously not everybody agrees with the guys I visited with. So just wanted to let you know that. All right. Thanks, Ed. Appreciate the phone call. I, hey, I think Joel does a really good job. He does his homework. He's prepared. He covers the sport really well. He's a good mouthpiece for college football. So, But I didn't hear it, so I don't know. Maybe he was really one-sided. I would be surprised if that was the case. Yeah, I, I mean, at some points, maybe he was a little bit, uh, he's a quarterback, so maybe he was a little bit critical of Jeff, Jeff Sims. I don't know. I know, right. you know, I, I don't know. I have to, I need to go back and watch the game. We got back late last night. I haven't had a chance to go back and watch the broadcast, but um, I just, I know I talked to him and I know how much respect he has for this program and for Matt Rule. And so that's, I can just speak to that. And that's all I was saying. All right. Um, after the game, you got to talk to a, Young guy who caught his first Husker touchdown in Alex Bullock. Yes. Uh, what a cool moment for him. So, you know, he got put on scholarship recently, and him and his brother, both big contributors to this uh, football program. It was really cool to see the reaction from John when Alex caught the touchdown, too. I wish I, I can't wait to talk to John yeah. and see how what he felt when, when Alex was that wide open. Because he has, has had the task of trying to defend that play in practice. But anyways, uh, here was Alex Bullock. I'm Jessica Cootie here with Alex Bullock. Well, uh, I know you would have traded it in for a different outcome, but your first career touchdown, um, how special was that to get to score that one for the team? Um, you know, it was cool. Uh, just doing that, we practiced that all week, you know, so when it was called, I just went back to what we were doing all week. Nothing different, you know, just um, back to our training. But uh, trusted Jeff with it, trusted the call, and just went with it. So, so you knew you were going to be that open? Yeah, that was. I mean, we ran that all week, and it was about that open every every time, so. You know, I, I talked to you in the fall, and you just talked about how much it meant to you to have this kind of opportunity to get to do it in a game. What did it mean to you that this, this coach, you have this offense, and, and Jeff, that they, they relied on you to be able to be a part of this offense tonight? Um, you know, it's, it's an honor, man. Um, having coaches and players um, that I'm close with, I've been through a lot with, uh, being able to trust me in situations like this, you know. Um, so, you know, we're just going to... It's just the first week. We're going to um, bounce back, um, just learn from it, and just keep going. So, How about the defensive performance for you guys? And, and uh, they really gave you guys a, a shot to win this one. Yeah, no, the defense, uh, they played their butts off all game. Um, couldn't be more proud of them. They, they've done that since day one. Um, they, they played lights out tonight, so, um, you know, there's credit to them. So. Coach Rule would talk about it's not about how you start, it's how you finish. It's, it's not about this one game. How important is that message right now moving forward when you guys got a, another, win to, another big one to prepare for? No, yeah, um, you know, the first game of the season, uh, it always, you know, there's a lot of, it tells you a lot about your team. Um, so a lot of teams have their biggest improvement from game one to game two. So uh, I think that's what we're going to look for. We got, a, you know, some stuff to fix, but it's nothing that we, nothing that uh, we can't do. So yeah. I feel like you guys Put, to get, put together some things that you can really build off tonight, though? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, at, at uh, points, uh, our offense was moving the ball really well. Defense pretty much all night was stopping them um, running, run and pass. So, you know, there's just little things here and there that we got to get fixed, and I think we'll get it done. So Appreciate your time. Thank you. Again, I only talked to Alex, but I saw, you know, the offensive players leaving the game, and I do feel like there was a different level of, I don't even know, emotion, or it was it was different kinds of emotion, I feel like, from the defense compared to the offense. I feel like probably the offense felt like they should have and could have done more, and the defense, well, always, you can always be better. I'm not saying they were perfect by any means, but I think they walked away feeling like, 
you know, there's a lot of, I think they built a lot of confidence. I think they felt they did a lot of good things and they're going to go back to the film and get better, even better. But I think they felt really good about uh, all the things they've been working on proving out in the field. And so I just, I felt like there was a different kind of, I don't know, emotion or disappointment level between the two. And, and I, I, all, everybody will get better and move on from it. But I just, I, I could tell he was, a, Alex was a little bit more down the three defensive players that I talked to. I, I just love that story of two brothers doing that, walking onto the program and now making an impact, both starting. It's just a great story. And you said John played well last night. He did. In, in place of Nick Henrich. He sure did. How so many tackles did he end up having? He, he was Six. solid. And we've heard he's been solid. And, and he had a pass breakup. So, so he played well. And then Alex <laughs> played really well. He, he made couple good, really good catches. And so you could tell Jeff Sims is comfortable throwing him the football. He, he was the, well, he, I think he got four passes right, but a couple of plays that he threw the ball to him, he made some good catches. So uh, it's, it's a really neat story. I hope to sit down with both of them at some point for a Cornhusker conversation and do yeah. the two of them together. That would be fun. Good stuff. All right, 402-413-2400, the number if you want to be a part of the program with a call or a text. When we come back, time to do some picking. Time to pick some of the uh, the Big Ten games. One underway right now. Sparty does have a three nothing lead on Central Michigan. Woodhouse Auto Family is your trusted auto partner with twenty brands, twenty convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. We're back with more in our Big Ten picks next. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness, and now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska, and with your help, we can maximize our student-athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890Nebraska.com, where 100% of your donation goes directly to Husker student-athletes. That's 1890Nebraska.com. Hi, I'm a volleyball. It's an okay life. I go back and forth about it. But I really wish I was a Nebraska Lottery Powerball or Mega Millions Mega Ball. See, all they have to do is mix around in a big plastic bubble and roll down a ramp, and then people win millions. What a great life. As for me, I get thrown around all day and have to worry about getting spiked, which is about to happen right now. Oh, ow! Couldn't you just do a nice, gentle tip? The Nebraska Lottery. Top prize odds vary by game. Our planet, it's hungry. Blessed with millions of acres in this great nation, our farmers work tirelessly to feed the planet through seasons of uncertainty and seasons of growth. It's a tough business to do alone. As owners of Central Valley Ag, it's together that we move forward. There's room at the table. Find your seat at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Other irrigation companies are finally discovering what TNL Irrigation has known for decades. Continuous movement is the best way to irrigate. While they'll have you pay for complicated upgrades to get steady, even water application with their high voltage electric systems, all TNL Irrigation pivots and linears are propelled safely and smoothly by powerful hydrostatic drive. Continuous movement isn't new, it's the TNL standard. Don't get talked into a reinvented wheel. Pick the proven original. Call your TNL Irrigation dealer today or visit TLIRR.com. TNL, like no other. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Nickelode Ultra. The perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. 
and it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Now get 3.9% financing for 66 months plus up to $37.50 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. There's a new kind of season ticket when you fly from the Lincoln Airport, the official airport of the Huskers. Now at LNK, choose from fast, affordable, non-stop flights to your favorite vacation spots. All from an airport that's relaxed and hassle-free. It's never been easier to get off the bench and enjoy an adventure with the whole family. Visit GoFlyLNK.com and book your trip today. Let's go. There are a lot of rates out there, and it can be tough to find the right one. Well, let's make it easy. With FNBO's special offer CD of 5.5% APY for 7 or 17 months, you can earn more, save more, and do more. That's 5.5% annual percentage yield for 7 or 17 months at your nearest FNBO location with a minimum deposit of $500 and an FNBO Premier Checking Account. So stop on by and give your savings a great big boost with the Great Big Small Bank. FNBO, member FDIC. Our planet, it's hungry. Blessed with millions of acres in this great nation, our farmers work tirelessly to feed the planet through seasons of uncertainty and seasons of growth. It's a tough business to do alone. As owners of Central Valley Ag, it's together that we move forward. There's room at the table. Find your seat at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Back inside our Acres Broadcast Center. Acres is the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres Solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. It's a Friday night here on a big time college football weekend coming up. Let's head to the phones before we get into our Big Ten picks. Up to Omaha. Jeremy, you're up next. Good evening. Hey, good, good evening. Um, I start off on a Start off on a positive note. Um, I, I, I think the the uh, defense uh, was just absolutely brilliant. I, I don't think they were just good. I mean, they were great. I mean, I think they were phenomenal. Uh, you know, were there little things that, to clean up in the future, of course, but considering it was the first game of the year, a lot of new players coming together for the first time. I mean, I mean, if you, anybody was to tell us that they were only going to have th Minnesota was only going to have three points with two and a half minutes left, I mean, I think. We would all take that in a heartbeat. Right. So, yep. so uh, yeah. Props, props to the defense uh, overall um, in, in every category. Um, two, two major problems I saw, and I watched it in a moder moderate sized sports bar, and, and everybody in the in the bar, whether they knew each other or not, agreed. Number one, um, and this lies. Uh, a lot with, with Jeff Sims himself, but also with the coaching staff, because obviously they have n not noticed this and coached him away from it. But he is not looking away from his original intended targets whatsoever. He is completely telegraphing where he's going to throw the ball from the very get-go. From the minute he takes a snap, he's looking directly at his intended target, and he throws it there. Um, a perfect, the most exact, the the uh, easiest example to take a, is the second, I believe it's the second inter interception he threw, which was straight down the middle, down the middle, probably 40, 50 yards. Um, he had one receiver, probably 15 yards down to the left to look like maybe an, an out route, um, wide open. I mean, literally waving his arms. I, I want to say it's like uh, Burke, Burke hold it, is it or something like that. Sure. Um, literally waving his arms and, Sims could have done two things there. He could have, one, either dumped it off to him, and, and that receiver then could have uh, ran for another five or ten yards or whatever he could have got. Or, two, he could have turned to him earlier to take some of the, the attention off the, the, his intended receiver so the DB, DBs came off of them a little bit, and then he could have came back to the intended receiver he wanted to hit. But he did not do that. He literally just – telegraphed that that in t that receiver down the middle the whole time threw it directly into three dbs um on 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 a on that receiver and and it was a clear pick um and he did that with all three of his interceptions and to be honest he's lucky he didn't get picked off a couple other yeah. times he threw one that was well. right to a guy yeah 
Yeah. Um, well, and then the one in the end zone. I mean, he, he did have three receivers down there, but he also had four DBs down there, and he really didn't look off, at, you know, anywhere you know that he was he was trying to throw it to. He th- of any of all, all everybody down there, he threw it right to a Minnesota, uh, you know, DB. So anyway, that's a huge problem. And what scares me about that is one: how has Sims got to this level? of of his experience and and you know being able to start and things of that nature and not knowing better um himself but number two have the coaches not seen that in in summer or in uh, fall camp and have they have they not been trying to work with him and be like look you you at least have to look away once or you know if not twice look at some of your other reads and then come back to to where you want to go so that's a scary thing from a from a coaching standpoint i believe too and then my, the my second comment i i believe and this falls uh purely on the Jeremy, we're, we're running out of time here uh, okay uh, pure purely on the coaches what what have they said that uh, um that, that that their their main goal is they they want to win it in the fourth quarter they want to win it at the end of the game and then what and then what did they say about anthony grant um four six weeks eight, eight weeks ago the the problem his major problem is he, he turnovers he fumbles too much he turns the ball over way too much and what do they do they have him in the fourth quarter well the, supposedly they want to win the fourth quarter Get 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 them the heck out of there and get one of those other backs in there. So I, I mean, if anybody would have told us that Minnesota only had three points with two and a half minutes left, I mean, I would have thought it'd be a done deal. But I think this largely falls on on the on the coaching staff. Jeremy, I, pre- oh, appreciate. It. Thanks for the phone call. We we got to get it moving, Jeremy. You had five minutes there, but some good points. And yeah, I, I did notice. I thought Jeff did lock into receivers last night. Huskers aren't going to win many games if he does not improve his play you cannot make those kind of mistakes and win football games and i think he knows it. the coaches certainly know that and that's the thing the challenge is to get that cleaned up yeah no doubt about it uh, i mean there's a lot of things that uh, he made good points on but the um justin's is and he said it he's got to take care of the football bottom line yep. he's got to be better no doubt about it yep. all right time now for our big 10 game predictions presented by choices treatment center helping people make positive choices all of us pick michigan state Oh, wait. oh, you got your crown on, huh? Yes, I had to. Where'd you get that? Uh, you know, this is why I was a little bit late today. I had to make sure that Jeremiah you know, would get a kick out of seeing that. So I will leave this here so that. Well, I don't know. I I might as well hold on to it. Okay. You know, you gonna wear that every week? Should I? Sure. Yeah. Leave it in the studio. We could we could let the person who won the week wear it. <laughs> all right. This is typically all, me, but we all ahead. pick Sparty. They're losing right now. Seven to three. Late first half. Chippewas just scored on them, so it's 7-3. So we're all in danger there. Anybody, uh, Michigan plays East Carolina tomorrow. No Jim Harbaugh. Does that change your mind on nope, that game? No, not at all. Nope. Henry, students going with Michigan? Yeah, Michi- Michigan's got it. Okay. All right, then at 11 o'clock tomorrow, Iowa hosts Utah State. The Hawkeyes are 23-point favorites. But, Henry, I don't think you're a big Iowa fan, are you? <laughs> uh, I mean, you know... Being a Nebraska fan, it's hard, you know. But you got you got to pick one upset. So you're going U- Utah State. This is I'll the upset with, you're picking. I'll go with Utah State. Did uh, you confer with any of your students, fellow students? <laughs> no. Before I did making not. these picks, okay. They they're probably gonna disagree with me on a lot of these. <laughs> All right, Cole and okay. Jeremiah both go Hawkeyes. I do as well. I'm with the Hawkeyes. Yep, I I think they're gonna be better, a little bit better offensively with Cade Mac- McNamara. Okay. Last year's Big Ten West champion, the Purdue Boilermakers, hosting Fresno State. They were a bowl team a year ago. Boilermakers, three-and-a-half-point favorite. This is 11 o'clock tomorrow on BTN. There's going to be an upset. Wes Lafayette, Fresno State takes down the Boilers. I'm with you. I thought I was going to maybe separate myself here. I'm with you. At Fresno State, they're a program. They're not afraid to play these big matchups. Purdue is turning things up. they got a new head coach. But, I mean, they're the defending uh, what Mountain West? Yep. They've won three of the last four. They. This is a program that I mean, they are a good mid-major program that they are not scared to play these big-time opponents. They're not afraid to go to the Big Ten, go on the road in the Big Ten. So give me Fresno State. I'm with you. Per- Jeremiah and Cole say not so fast. They're going Boilermakers. Okay. The tiebreakers, Henry. Henry, who you like in the Purdue Fresno State game? I'm gonna go with Purdue. Okay. All right. Greg, All right. I like your pick. Okay, Jessica, a conference game tomorrow on CBS. The Buckeyes, who finally settled on a quarterback a couple of days ago, go to take on Jeremiah Searles, Indiana Hoosiers. <laughs> who do you like in this game? I'm going to go with Ohio State. I'm not even 
going to even go there. But, yeah. Did, did Jeremiah learn his lesson? He did. He's okay. picking the Buckeyes. So is Cole. Henry, how about for the student section? Yeah, i go with Ohio, the Ohio State. The Ohio State. Okay. And I picked them as well. So we're all in tandem on that one. Now you go to the 230 window. Wisconsin, first-year coach Luke Fickle taking on the Buffalo team who the Huskers played a couple of years ago. Wisconsin's almost a four-touchdown favorite. Henry, are you sensing an upset here? I'm not. Badgers? I got Wisconsin. Okay. I'm with you. I got the Badgers as well. I do too. I don't know if they can win by four. That's a lot. That's winning a Winning by four touchdowns. But I do think Wisconsin, I, I talked to you off air. I think that Tanner Mordecai is a really, really good quarterback. He scares me a little bit. We'll see how good they look. But even though it's a new coaching staff, I think they've got some really good pieces. And I don't think they're going to have a problem with Buffalo to start things off. All right. Also on the 230 window, Maryland against FCS Towson. Anybody? Going to dangle with Towson, or is it Maryland all the way? Uh, I'm going to go with Maryland. Henry, you good with that? Yep. All right. So the Terps are the pick by the group. Pretty cool game in primetime tomorrow night. West Virginia out of the Big 12 taking on Penn State. Nittany Lions, I think, are really good. They're a three-touchdown favorite, and I think that's legit. I think they roll the Mountaineers. I do, too. I do, too. Well, West Virginia has not been very good in no. a while, but... You're finally getting on my Penn State wavelength, Greg. <laughs> I've been a Penn State picker from the start. They've been a big part. They've contributed a lot to my two-time defending championships, so I'm going to keep rolling with Penn State. Henry? Yeah, I'll go with Penn State as well. Okay. Cole and Jeremiah also with the Nittany Lions uh, for tomorrow night's game. All right, Toledo at Illinois. Toledo's a good team out of the MAC. By the way, Michigan State just took the lead back late first half in East Lansing. Toledo's not a bad football team. In fact, the line on this game is inside of 10. It's 9 for the Illini. It's under the lights on BTN tomorrow night. Tempted at all for the Rockets? I'm not. I think they've got some good things. Even, I, I'll be interested. I am, will, I am excited to see, or interested to see what Illinois' offense looks like, but I think they've just, and even though they're replacing the defensive coordinator, I just, they've got things going a little bit there and they've kind of got a culture established I just I I'm gonna go with Illinois I'm with you as well Cole Hartman says not so fast oh he's Cole. picking the Rockets okay to knock off the fighting Illini tomorrow night in Champaign Henry are you with Cole I'm not <laughs> <laughs> and neither's Jeremiah he goes Illinois as well let's go to Sunday Northwestern at Rutgers my goodness what a summer for the Northwestern Wildcats all kinds of turmoil and yet they're just a six-point underdog in this game. I was shocked at that. I was shocked to see that. I am not buying that. I think Rutgers is pretty darn – I think Rutgers has a chance to make the bowl game. I'm going Scarlet Knights. I'm also going Rutgers. I think they're defensive. They've got some pretty good pieces on defense, and so I'm going to roll with Rutgers at home. Okay. So is a Jeremiah and Cole. How about from the student section? <laughs> yeah, Rutgers. Are we calling them the block or anything? We could. We could. We come up with a little cute name for yeah, those let's, guys. Yeah, let's, let's figure that out. All right, let's get to a couple of national games. We have so many Big Ten games, we couldn't do too many national games here in week one. But we got a couple. Game day is going to actually be in Charlotte, where the Carolinas are going to battle. North Carolina, who has a Heisman Trophy-type candidate at quarterback against the Gamecocks. This is a two-and-a-half-point line. Who are you going with here, Tar Heels or Gamecocks? I am going, this one was hard for me, but I'm going to go with South Carolina because I'm a big believer in Shane Beamer, I think, and Spencer Rattler coming back. I'm going to go with South Carolina at home. Okay. Or not, they're not at home, Neutral but side. I'm going to yep. go with South Carolina. All right. Uh, Jeremiah, Cole, and me. I'll go North Carolina. I think the better quarterback wins. Not that I don't, South Carolina's no, got a great quarterback. No, North Carolina's got a great quarterback. Yeah. Yeah, for I, sure. I think this will be a really fun game. You can see why ESPN picked it. All right. Henry, how about the Carolina battle? Um, taking South Carolina. Woo! He's with you, Jessica. Let's Henry's go, Henry. I like that pick, Henry. Sunday night football. And this is a rematch from last year. LSU traveling to Orlando to play Florida State. The Seminoles went into the Superdome last year and beat them. But LSU is a two-point favorite. Year two for Brian Kelly. This is a top ten matchup. This should be a terrific football game on Sunday night? I'm going with LSU. I think this is the game last year that Andrew Dowdy was the only one that picked Florida State, and he thought that this was his revenge tour. 
But um, I think I just think LSU has a lot of talent. I think Florida State's a little bit overhyped, and I'm just I'm gonna roll with LSU. My last impression of of Florida State was their bowl game, where I think they won an overtime over Oklahoma. Was it an overtime game? Really close. And Oklahoma wasn't very good no, they last year. So to me, I'm like, okay, that's where you are. I still think there's a gap between the ACC and the SEC. So when you're in a neutral stadium, and I know there'll be a lot of probably more Seminole fans there in Orlando, I, I just think LSU is a much more well-rounded team. I think they win by field goal. I was, just, I was just about to say that. I think they're the more complete football team, so I'm, I'm with you there. Okay. Henry. Yeah, I'll go with the Tigers as well. Wow. It's a clean sweep because both Jeremiah and Cole Everybody went LSU. LSU. Wow. So Florida State made you say, take that, Sports Highly crew. At least I won't lose week. a point on that. So not a lot of differences. We had a couple upset picks. I think the biggest one is Cole going Toledo. I think that's probably the biggest out there pick in week one. Cole went Toledo. Wow. I, I wish we could hear his reasoning for that. How we'll have to ask that? him on Monday. He may not have reasons for it. He's been going, oh, I just picked it. <laughs> Got to pick one. Well, folks, if you or someone you love has a problem with gambling, call Choices Treatment Center at 402-476-2300 or the Nebraska Gamblers Assistance Program at 1-833-238-6837. All right, those are the first week of Big Ten picks. The games are going to get so much better as we make our way through the coming weeks. As we make, uh, this will be fun. This week, a little bit dry, but that's right. We'll pick up. It'll get better as we go. We'll pick it up. All right, 402-413-2400. That's the number if you want to be a part of the program with a call or a text. We're back with more Sports Nightly next. Discover new ways to purchase your next vehicle at Woodhouse Nissan. Right now, lease the 2023 Nissan Aria Engage four-wheel drive for $389 a month for 36 months. Visit us online today. With approved credit, tax, title, license, extra, 10,000 miles per year, $19.99 down plus first payment, $299 doc fee, do it signing. Discount based on sale price of $44,735. Deal includes $1,000 Aria Engage four-wheel drive bonus Nissan cash rebate and $1,000 Aria loyalty bonus cash rebate. VIN number PM407668. Offer expires 731-2023. See dealer for details. Our planet, it's hungry. Blessed with millions of acres in this great nation, our farmers work tirelessly to feed the planet through seasons of uncertainty and seasons of growth. It's a tough business to do alone. As owners of Central Valley Ag, it's together that we move forward. There's room at the table. Find your seat at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Now get 3.9% financing for 66 months plus up to 3750 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. The name on the mailbox may say Smith, Myers, Baumgartner, or Johnson, but when you choose to plant with Rob Seco, it includes your name too, making you a stockholder in a company that's invested in you. With the simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, relationships that bring more to the table, the technology, traits, and genetics that take on local conditions, and people with the know-how to use it. And Rob Seco, the only stockholder we listen to is you. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts.
Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! What's colder than the coldest? A polar bear. I have reports of a polar bear on the loose. Man, is it cold enough for a polar bear in here? Yes, we use SOS. Come on in. SOS to the rescue! S- Nebraska defense lineman Nash Hubbard here. People know me as the polar bear, and when I want to stay cool, I call SOS. The techs don't make commissions, so they give you an honest opinion, fair pricing, and longer warranties than the competition. Guaranteed. Mention the polar bear and get a free 10 year labor warranty on New York equipment. The best warranty in town. Deer roads, trails, and rivers. You ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Taman 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Back at Center Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They have the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions. For every field, Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. Friday night edition of Sports Alley here on the Huskers Radio Network. Let's go to the phones out to St. Charles, Missouri. Daniel, you are up next. Good evening. Hi, Greg. Hello. So, uh, I had an idea with the Jeff Sims uh, problem. So, the interceptions and everything kind of put me down on his throwing abilities, but I was impressed with the running. So, I was thinking, why don't we use him like the way um, Jim Harbaugh used uh, McCarthy and Kate McNamara a couple seasons ago? In, in what way? Just run him all the time? Yeah, so like he would have like he would have like McNamara like throw the ball, and then every now and then he would play he would play uh, McCarthy and just have him like run the ball. Yeah, I don't get the sense from Matt Rule, Daniel, that he wants to rotate quarterbacks. I think they want one guy to go. They ran him a lot last night, nineteen times, but I I don't I think they still feel like Jeff gives them the best chance to win. I don't think they think it's very close between him and the backup quarterbacks. Okay, well that was that was just my that was just my opinion and such and uh, and so we're wondering if he worked it out because I just worked looking at that. No, good. Thanks, Danny. Appreciate the phone call from over in the St. Louis area. I, you, do you get a sense at all they want to rotate quarterbacks? I don't. No, no, they don't. They don't. I think if, well, I guess maybe it was game one, but if ever you're going to maybe give somebody else another call is when you're turning the ball over, right? I mean, that's typically what you see, but I think Jeff Sims is their guy. I think they, when they make a, uh, that 
announced that they roll with it. They want to believe in him, and so I, I don't, I don't get that feeling at all. Basically, called him the starter after spring ball. Yeah, that it's over, Tim. Mm -hmm. And then you, Casey knew that. That's why Casey left for Florida Atlantic. Dennis on our text line said, I don't know if you guys know, but Spectrum's got a battle going on with ESPN Disney. No ESPN if you have Spectrum. That's me. Yeah, you I've were salty that. about that before yep. the show. And so they pulled the plug right at the kickoff last night of the Florida-Utah game. My goodness, I hope they get that thing figured out overnight. I want to watch some games on the ESPN Family Networks tomorrow. Let's go down to Kansas. Tom, you are up next. Good evening. Hi, Sharpie and Jessica. How are you guys doing tonight? Hey, Tom. How are you doing? Well, I feel <laughs> like I'm Bill Murray in Groundhog's Day. I'll yeah. tell you that. Yeah, yeah. I've been calling Greg a long time, and so we've heard it all. We've said it all. We've gone through this about, what, every year for 15 years. There's not much to say. It, it, my takeaway from it is, hey, you, you give every new coach – his time to really uh, make, make his impact and make his adjustments and things like that. So I try not to get too excited at the beginning of the season. Um, it was a tough loss, but I'm still behind Coach Rule. I'm behind everything about Nebraska. The thing that I did want to call in, Sharpie, I'm sorry. It was, a, it was about a month ago, but I, I needed to get in and talk to you. I took my son to the prospect camp at Haymarket Park this, oh, great. on August 5th, actually. So he got he got to play at Haymarket, and Gunnar Hellstrom got to take us on the tour of the whole facility, which we got to do the tunnel walk and walk out on the field. Oh, and that's cool. Good for I you. Think it's very cool. I, I'm telling you, since I was four years old, that's all I ever <laughs> wanted to do. And I, luckily, my mom was there because I think it had taken security to get me off that field. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did they take? Did they take care of you at Haymarket? Oh. It, it was great. Coach Bull, uh, um, everybody's there. Kyle Perry was in, in uh, uh, working with the pitchers. And Trenton, he's my my son. He he's a six six left hander, and his his favorite pitcher is guess who? Kyle Perry, huh? <laughs> Kyle Perry and Cade Povich. That way, good deal. Cade's up at AAA right now. He may be getting of oh, the big leagues before the season's over. Tom, I'm glad that worked yeah. out for you. That's great. All right. Well. I hope I hope everything goes a little better than last time, but I wanted to, I wanted to feel good story for everybody on a Friday night after I know everybody's a little down, but guys keep your heads up, uh, Husker Nation. Let's go Big Red. Good stuff, Tom. Thank you. Great call. Love that. Love that. And we do we did need a feel good story, but I I appreciate what he said. I mean, it's one game. We can't get too right. caught up in it. And I also believe in the direction that the staff is going. I saw so many positive things on the sidelines last night. I just. I'm not ready to p hit the panic button by any means. You mentioned Will Bolt. They started fall ball a couple of days ago, so they've already had a couple of practices and scrimmages going on over at Haymarket. Let's go to North Fort. Miguel, you are up next on Sportsana. Good evening. Hey, guys. How you guys doing? Good. Hey, so last night, even, even after the game was over, I was on social media, and, you know, I was seeing people calling for coach's head already, and it's like, the, the season's just started, and if they think they can do it better, then they should put on the pads and go play. You know, yeah, this pretty... is just it, – it, it's. I, I'm sorry, but this is the first game. And from what I saw, I love this team. That defense was on fire last night, and I loved it. No reason to panic after one game. We were underdogs, certainly had it right there for the taking – didn't make the plays late, but I think that can be a nice learning experience for this team. Yeah, I, I mean, I just thought the defense was on fire. I loved it. I was taken away by how well the defense was playing. You know, the offense, you know, obviously it's the first game they could use a little work, but I think we'll be okay. Very good. Miguel, appreciate it. Thanks for the phone call. No, I think that needs to be taken, and I get it. Everybody... <laughs> We, we all want to win. It's knee-jerk reactions after a loss like that. And in football, you only get 12 games, so every game is really magnified. But take a step back. It's going to be a marathon to get this program back to where we all want it to be. Here's the thing. I know that, that you don't go into games believing what the odds are, right? But Vegas, we weren't a favorite, right? I mean, there were not a lot of people outside of Nebraska that thought Nebraska was going to win that football game, right? I mean, going on the road with a new staff and – it's not like it's that's a, a 
you know, condolence prize by any means, but it's it's that was going to be a hard game to win out of the gate with uh, new coaching staff anyways. And I don't know if a lot of people outside of here truly believe Nebraska was going to go win that football game. Obviously, it's why we were not favored to right. win it. But so I, I just, you know, I'm I'm with the, the last two callers. There's no need to hit the panic button. And, and yes, did, were there some issues with the offense? Absolutely, there were. There were, you cannot turn the ball over four times. But I have faith that they're going to get it addressed and they'll go back to the film and they'll they'll work on those corrections and be better for it. Crypto King in the chat room says, just imagine if Daniel Jackson doesn't get that toe down, Huskers win the game. I did not think to the live naked eye, I didn't think he got it down. It didn't he, look He it. did. They got it right. He did. But my gosh, to the, I'm like, there's no way he got that toe down. It, Great play by him. And the fact that he kept his other foot up. Too, you know, like I know it before was, it, the other yeah. one touches. It was it was a great play, but I mean, again, that you're talking about how many of these one play one plays that completely changed the outcome of the game. Jessica, and you've been a part of it two plus now. It's just we've had this thing over and over. You're just I like know. you feel so snake bitten, and I can, I think Tom said it. Groundhog, he's right. You're kind of like again. Are you kidding me? When's this going to flip at some point in time? So. Uh, that's all we all kind of want want that to, to happen. Hey, if uh, Woodhouse Auto Family, they are your trusted auto partner with 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. Still time. If you want to be a part of the program, great calls tonight, 402-413-2400. Also, the text line is open as well. We're back to wrap up the show, including our winners and losers for the week. Our planet, it's hungry. Blessed with millions of acres in this great nation, our farmers work tirelessly to feed the planet through seasons of uncertainty and seasons of growth. It's a tough business to do alone. As owners of Central Valley Ag, it's together that we move forward. There's room at the table. Find your seat at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. TNL Irrigation Company knows their way around a field and across it into the corners. And even through storms, TNL engineers are constantly working on solutions producers need, like the new Gooseneck Cradle Corner System Attachment. It greatly improves corner span stability to tackle steep terrain and stand up to high winds. If you're looking to upgrade your corner system or add on new, call your TNL Irrigation dealer today or visit TLIRR.com to learn more. TNL, like no other. To win the game, you gotta have more strength. You gotta be tougher. You gotta be reliable. You gotta want it more than the other guy. And you need a great team you can count on, backing you up the whole time. Whether it's in the field with your Massey Ferguson or on the field with the Huskers, red is the color of getting it done quicker, smarter, and efficiently. So this season, make sure you're checking out the lineup that'll get more done where and when it counts. From your Nebraska Massey Ferguson dealers. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. At CHI Health Clinic, we believe health care should be personal because knowing your provider personally makes appointments more comfortable, more productive, and more meaningful to your overall health. Get matched with a primary care provider based on your personality and lifestyle using CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match. Take the survey at myprovidermatch.com to find the right provider for you. Getting healthier starts by getting personal at CHI Health Clinic. As a fan, you wear your jersey on your back and your heart on your sleeve. There's a place for people like you. The Cox Fan Zone. Play NFL Pick'em and Collegiate Pick'em for a chance to win a $100 Visa gift card each week or even a $500 Visa gift card grand prize. Hey, Oscar fans, this is Greg Sharp. Say Fan Zone in your Contour Voice remote to play. Not at home? Visit cox.com slash fanzone. Go Big Red. 
Hey, if problem gambling is burning up your money, there is a way out. Help is free and confidential for Nebraskans and their families. There's no judgment, just help. Visit lifeafterbet.com. Final few minutes, Sports Island here on a Friday night. Jessica's enthralled by a biker. <laughs> He's like going by riding on his bike on the back wheel. Just yeah. I don't doing see all G- kinds of tricks over there. He's buying your wall, but he's... I don't see JB doing those kind of tricks on his bike. Oh, but he could though. Now that his knees repaired, maybe he could. Maybe. <laughs> JB and Lauren back on the air Sunday in Manhattan. That game's got me worried. Four o'clock for serve, three o'clock for pregame here on the Huskers Network. Winners and losers. Well, yeah. I just don't know you can go any other way but besides what was done here, Volleyball Day in Nebraska, and there were so many winners within it. I mean, Nebraska Volleyball, the staff that put it in place, the state, the fans for showing up and showing out. There's so many. I, I just, gosh, I, I, I just don't know how you go with any other way than the, the world record right here inside Memorial Stadium for a w- women's sporting event. And the loser is me for not being here. <laughs> Yeah, it was tough. Uh, it was it was hard to watch that, and, and I was really proud to watch it. But you're like, God, it would have been cool to be in the stadium uh, for all. I that. really felt FOMO. I really did. Yeah. All right, my winner, Eleanor Dale. My goodness, oh, the yeah. soccer team is on fire. She has six goals early on. They routed Missouri last night, five to nothing. They play K State Sunday night in Manhattan. I don't think, I think they're taking separate buses from volleyball down there, but they are on fire. Eleanor is an interesting story. She's from England, but she is just on fire. Six goals early in the year, a couple of assists. She has become the magic maker on offense for them. Already 14 points on the year for Eleanor Dale. Really cool story. And I think they got a shot to be really nice. I do. Team. I think they're really good. I love the whoever did the caption for the soccer win, they said, S-E-C, ya later. Oh, boy. That's clever. <laughs> that's clever. Uh, I, I, they're good. I mean... And give it up to Sammy Hawk, former intern, yep. another shutout. And they've got a lot of – they've got multiple goal scorers. I think maybe in a couple, the last couple of years they've maybe only had a couple. But I think they have more po- – I'm not a soccer – They have more options I'm not a, a yeah. soccer expert by any means, but it seems like there's a lot of different players contributing to the goal scoring, yep. which to me seems pretty Henry's hard to defend. Expert. Oh, well, Henry yeah, can jump in on this. But it seems like that's got to be pretty hard to defend when you've got multiple people that can kick it in the net. They are 4-0-1 oh, on the year. They're good. So, I, I think they're real good. They're exciting. Get out there and watch them when you can, for sure. In they're here on Sunday, right? Nope, they're in Manhattan Sunday. Oh, yeah. Then yeah. They, they are home next Thursday night. They'll play UC Davis out at Hibner Stadium. So maybe you can get That's a tournament team, I really think. If they can keep it together. I, I think that's a tournament yep. team. I agree. My loser, the ACC. What are we doing? Wake <laughs> up this morning, and they're adding Stanford and Cal and SMU. And SMU's not going to, I guess, not going to take any money for being a football member, but they're going to be in the league. I mean, what are we doing? This is insanity. And then, like, the Florida State president and AD came out and said, well, we, we welcome them, but we didn't vote for them. Right. We voted no. <laughs> I mean, what a We didn't want them, wreck. but welcome. You know, I don't know. Uh, and they were already mad about the, I can't, I can't believe they were already mad about the revenue share. And even if they're not full members, they're still taking money away. But at least Cal and Stanford have a home. They do. And those are prestigious academic yes. institutions. And there are a handful of those in the ACC as well. That is going to put a wrap on our week. We're dark tomorrow. The network's dark tomorrow. It's but wild. we have volleyball on Sunday down in Manhattan again. That game, that match worries me a little bit. Thanks to Russ and to Henry and to all of you for listening tonight. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe out there on a Labor Day weekend and go for the picks. I'm winning this year. I'm winning. I'm winning. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Kids eat free in September at Wahlburgers at High V to celebrate National Family Meals Month. That's right. Get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree. Kids 12 and under can choose from favorites like a burger and fries, grilled cheese, chicken tenders, and more. Bring the family together. Dine in at Wahlburgers at High V and get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree every day in September. Dine in only. Some restriction supply. See store for details. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. 
more powerful than the Black Shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skecher shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska soybean farmers. Growing opportunity from the ground up. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200.